Introducing the all new Corolla. It took more than two months to make an arrest, but Guam police yesterday arrested Brandon Flaherty for the hit and run death of 28 year old Turley Thomas on July 9th. Guam Police Sergeant Rock Anciano explains what Flaherty was charged with and why it took a while for an arrest to be made. He was charged with a vehicular homicide, a vehicular homicide while intoxicated, uh, leaving the scene of an accident and speeding in, in a posted zone. We had to make sure that the investigation was uh, properly uh, thorough mm -hmm. and uh, we were waiting for results also from uh, from other, uh, from the from GMH, and that took a while to get to us. So. Flaherty appeared in court today to face those charges. However, the attorney general's office only charged him with speeding and vehicular homicide. No DUI charges were imposed, according to the magistrate's complaint. Flaherty and his girlfriend were following each other driving along Marine Corps Drive near the Dedido Flea Market when the accident happened. But Flaherty was not sure if he had struck someone, so he fled the scene because he was too afraid. But according to police, his mother drove him back to the area where they found police conducting an investigation. During questioning, Flaherty said that he was driving at 40 miles an hour, which exceeds the speed limit. Flaherty's girlfriend, according to the report, also told police that Flaherty had three mixed alcoholic beverages that night. Meanwhile, in another hit and run from last month, Guam police also have yet to make an arrest. 22-year-old Nana Masaichi was killed when she was struck while walking home from the store along Route 15 near the back road to Anderson. In that case, a driver also turned himself into police, but he was later released from custody. Sergeant Anciano says the investigation in that case is still ongoing.